Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to solve the problem of your ad may not be optimized for conversions because we haven't received any activity from the conversion you selected at all or in more than 14 days. Um, this problem normally happens if you are running or you are trying to set a conversion ad campaign and you will get this problem. And when you get this problem, you may see something like view pixel, email pixel code, get help and all that. So I'm going to tell you exactly why this problem happens and how to solve it. The number one reason why this problem happens is that your conversion event is not properly set up. Your, your conversion, whether it's a standard conversion or it could be a standard conversion or custom, okay? It's not properly set up. When I say it's not properly set up, what do I mean? Maybe you are optimizing for purchase and the purchase event is not properly optimized to be tracked. Even if someone purchases on your website, the purchase doesn't appear. So at the end of the day, you will not be able to track. If the system, your pixel is not able to track people who have actually made a purchase on your website, even though they have made a purchase, but the system is not tracking. If the system is not able to track a purchase event, then uh, it will tell you that you your ad is not optimized for conversion because they haven't received a conversion event or the event you selected. It may not just be only uh, um, a purchase. It could be add to card. It could be initiate checkout. It could be anything. So in order to solve the problem, let me show you what you need to do. Let me even tell you the other reason before I even show you the solution to any of them. Now, uh, the second reason why it happens is that your event may be properly set up, but the action you are taking, the event you optimize for has not occurred in the last 14 days. What does that mean? Maybe your conversion event is purchased, and in the last 14 days, no one actually purchased anything on your site. So the system hasn't recorded a purchase. So it's like the event is not active. So you need to trigger that event for the system to be able to record that there has been a purchase so that it can track and know that if someone is makes a purchase on your site, it will reflect. So I'm going to show you the two basic ways you can solve it. So first of all, what you should do is that you come, click on all tools, go to event. Yeah, so in events manager, click on data sources. When you hover around here, it will come. So you click on data sources. Then you check which is the pixel that you are using. So for example, for this website, this is the pixel. This is my uh, my pixel. This is the pixel I'm using, and these are the event. So a page view, view content, add to cart, add payment info. All those are um, active. Now I need to check whether there is a purchase event or not. So when you look, I cannot really see a purchase event. I don't know whether some of the event. Uh -huh, let me just show. So I can't see any purchase event. Okay. So first of all, what I have to do is go to my website. Okay, so I'm inside my website, okay? So what I have to do is that I have to come here, come to my shop. So what normally what I advise you to do is that reduce one of the items to a very small size. So for example, if the price is uh, $100, you can reduce it to $5 and buy just to make a purchase for you to see how the system is. So you click on add to cart, for example, click on view cart, proceed to checkout. Then you fill your information, click on place order. Now I'm just trying to show you the process. So after you go through all these processes, for example, okay. Uh, you know, the system is asking me to create an account or login, but because I'm demonstrating to you, I don't want to actually go through that process. But I mean that go to the go through the process to the end and make a purchase. When you make a purchase, come back here to your event manager. Um, mostly the event, if an event takes place, it will it will reflect in your event manager within um normally in within 48 hours. Okay. Uh, in fact, most of the time, within two hours, the event will reflect. But even if it takes time, even if it takes time, so long a time, but within 48 hours, 
and a uh, 24 hours rather sorry Twenty, about 24 let's say 24 to 48 hours it will take the update will take effect but mostly from two hours going it will, it will reflect so when you took the action okay come back and check after two hours onwards whether you have seen an update if the advert takes place if after one hour I come and check, it will show here that the latest one last received between one hour ago, one hour ago, one hour ago. But here we seen five hours ago, eight hours ago, two days ago, seven days ago, one day ago. So if the event is not active in the first place, then uh, you will need to set up a standard or custom event. So that is if the event in the first place is not active. But first of all, Trying to make a purchase, you see that in time to make a purchase, we went through the, the processes like we went through view content, add to card, initiate checkout, add payment info. We went through all those processes. So if they don't show here, if they don't update, if the system doesn't update it, it means they are not working. So you have to set up standard event and custom events. But if in the first place, if you did it and they are actually working, you will know that, okay, they are reflecting. So if they are reflecting, in that case, if the purchase event is not there, you can still use a custom event or standard event to set it up. If that is, if the rest are showing and it's not with the purchase event that is not showing, it means that you didn't set a purchase event. But if all of them are not showing, it means that in the first place, you don't have any, um, all those events are not properly uh, set. But if those pro those events are said, you even see them appearing here and it will always be active green color. So now, in the case where your events are not properly set up and you will need to set up standard event and custom event. I've done a video, a full a video dedicated to Ulida, setting up standard and custom event. And so in that video, check the link above to watch that particular video. Okay, once you check the link above, you'll see it. Or you can check the link in the description. Secondly, in the situation where you want to, um, you have no even, your pixel is not even connected at all. Your pixel is not connected at all. When you check, if your pixel is not connected, when you check the link above, you will see a video on how to connect your pixel. In fact, it depends on the type of website. If it's a WordPress website, you can use that, follow that to connect. If you have other type of website, um, you may also still be able to follow it. In case you follow it and you don't get a solution, contact your web developer for assistance, or you can leave your comments in the comment section and we help you. We charge you to do um, all those events set up, uh, ad campaigns and our prices are affordable, not that expensive. So you can check the link in the description. There's a WhatsApp link you can follow to WhatsApp us. You can also leave your comments in the comment section and we'll be able to help you get your issue resolved. Okay, yeah. So this is exactly what you need to do. So after you've done all that, if the events are properly connected and you make a purchase, it's going to show. So when you come here, you optimize for purchase event. It will show here that the error will no longer okay. And let me show you. You see that when we when we when I went to the event manager, you see the view content, add to cart, all that are active. So if I come here and choose add to cart, for example, you will see that add to cart. They are not giving me that warning. They are not giving me that warning because it has been received at least in the last two weeks. So that is why that warning is not there. If you take time to follow it, I assure you that you get a solution. Thank you once again for um, watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.